Hello fellow makers, enthusiasts, and people who just want to see me talk. I'm Jan, and today I made a master spool. Welcome back. For FDM 3D printing, you always use filament, and filament comes on spools. Now for the most part, those spools are made of plastic, and you need to throw them away when you're done. There's not really any company that recycles them, at least not globally. Recently, when I moved, I had to throw away about 100 spools, and it really felt bad. And the idea of, of a master spool, or, or a reusable spool at least, has really been around for quite a while, but nobody's really, as far as I know, nobody's really done any sort of attempt to standardize the whole process. Whereas Richard Horn, who's Rich Rap, created this. Now this is version four of his master spool and it's the one he hopes to be the final one. And in short, it's really nice. Let's talk a little bit about the master spool while we watch it being printed. The master spool consists of two parts that screw fit together and it has an outer diameter of just about 20 centimeters. And so it fits nicely onto the bed of my Ultimaker and also onto most of the current generation of RepRap printers as well. The spool with the settings and 0.4 millimeter nozzle that I'm using takes about 20 hours to print and weighs around 240 grams, which is comparable to the standard plastic spools used by most manufacturers, but it also means it's not exactly free to print. Richard has been good enough to create a concise specification sheet for any filament manufacturers good enough to jump on board the master spool train and Dust Filament, who were the first ones as far as I know, have also already created a light version master spool for those not willing to spend as long creating their reusable spools. That version doesn't work with quite as many mounting systems though. I bought a roll of metallic red filament from Dust Filament for the purposes of testing out the master spool and making this video of course. It was priced at 18 euros for the larger than normal 850 gram spool, and because there isn't much packaging weight, shipping went into the under 1 kilogram category, meaning that I paid a bit less for shipping than I might have done otherwise. Even with these prices, the cost of printing a master spool from a filament refill spool is something like 7.5 euros, or about $9 US, in filament alone. Definitely not something you want to be throwing away. But, now for the fun part. Let's get this packet open. Hopefully without cutting my fingers or anything silly like that. There we go. Let's pack in a bit of bubble wrap. Let's put that away for now. And there it is. And this, I guess, has been a big hit with people, so let's see if we can hear the hiss. There we go, and we can. One more thing that we really want to do is just weigh this roll, just to see if we're getting the amount of filament that we paid for. And it's 856, and I am guessing those cable ties are gonna be about five, six grams, so we're pretty much spot on with what the label says, which is pretty awesome. Then next, we'll just set that aside, open up the roll, try to line everything up, and it kind of goes, I was just gonna say first time, but pretty much, there we go. Just close this thing up right here, there we go. And have to turn more. Ooh, we're not quite in place, are we? Let's see. There we go. Ooh, and we were perfect. There we go. Everything lines right up. And then all we have to do after that is put on our little sticker, just so we know what filament we're dealing with. And hey presto, we're done. The last thing we need to do before inserting these is just to cut these here. Actually, why am I doing that? I can just cut them up here, can I? Get rid of those. There we go. Okay, I'm 
try to get a straight end on there. And there we can see it's a pretty full spool. All in all, okay. And then we just check that we're going on the right thing to the and go. So to end my review on the master spool, I just want to toss in my two cents and say I think the standardization is a great idea. These are a really good size um, for, I guess, most machines. I know they work really well on my Ultimaker and I just hope more filament makers jump on board and start making their filament available in packages that can fit on these spools. And why not see more different types of master spools? hopefully using the same standard, which means filament makers won't have to spend all that much time retooling for every different maker. I know I'll be contacting a couple of makers that I really like and hope that they jump on board and start producing stuff that I can put into my master spool when I run out of this dust filament red. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, comment below on what you enjoyed, what you didn't enjoy, what you wanna see in the future. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when new videos come out. I'm Jan, this has been Today I Made, thank you.